Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Vanessa. I wanted to do my monthly favorites for the month of March. I know we are a couple days already, like a week into April. So I know I'm a little bit behind, but I wanted to do this video because I do do them here on my channel. So if you guys would like to see what my monthly favorites are, then just keep on watching. Okay, so starting off first with um, one skincare item. So this is the, by the brand Inky List. This is the Fulvic Acid Brightening Cleanser. This is what it looks like. To be honest, when I wanted to include this in my fav monthly favorites, I actually noticed that I am going to have to um, reorder, repurchase this because I really love it. So to specifically, the reason why I like this is because it has gentle exfoliators inside the cleanser. I don't really deal with that much acne, but my main concern is um, texture around my nose. So what I like about this is that it has exfoliants inside the cleanser, so I don't actually have to go with a physical exfoliator that can tear up the skin, and it's a lot more harsh on your skin. So I do have a whole video on this. I did purchase a couple of things from their line. I just wanted to review it and see if it was good. And this is definitely one of those products that has stood out to me. I will link the video down below if you're interested. It's like an affordable skincare routine, like step by step. Um, I'll link that down below, but definitely one of my favorites. And it definitely has made a change in my nose and just texture overall. So I wanted to include that. Maybe you are one of those persons like me that deal with texture. So definitely a good one. And I think it's like 15 bucks. So super affordable and clean ingredients, which is awesome. Okay, so next product, I have this KISS. It's a KISS glue liner, and this comes in clear and black. I specifically got black because I do like to have a little bit of a wing when I'm wearing lashes. So self-explanatory, it's a pen, uh, eyeliner pen that has a nice fine tip. I do have a TikTok, and I did create a YouTube video also on this product, so I'm not going to talk much about it. But I do like it because it's one of those things that I don't have to think much about it. I just put on a small wing liner and it's easy to put on the lash line. So you can go very thin, very thick. Um, but you do get that nice black pigment. And of course, it's very nice and quick. Rather than waiting for like a lash glue to dry down on your lashes and then wait that whole almost minute period. It's a big mess. But this is great. Okay, so we are going to talk about it because I'm very sad. Um, Becca Cosmetics is closing. I'm sure we're all well aware of it by now. So my favorite, 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 favorite because of Jacqueline Hill. I love the Champagne Pop um, shade specifically. So I'm going to swatch this and you're like, Vanessa, where are you going with this? Well, I'll tell you. So this is Champagne Pop. It's not going to be available anymore. But I wanted to give you guys my favorite highlighters that are similar, give me the same look, but obviously a different brand. So this is in Milani. This is in the shade 120. This is the highlighter duo in Power Up. So we're talking about specifically this shade right here. Let me open it up. So we're talking about specifically this shade right here. This shade, if I swatch it, I'm going to show you what it looks like next to Champagne Pop. So I would definitely say that the Milani one has a tad bit more of a champagne um, tone, undertone to it, but they're very, very similar. So this is the highlight that I'm wearing here on the face right now. So I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like here on the face. And then another one I want to talk about, I don't know what's going on with Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I don't find all their things being that bad. This is the highlighter in Cheers, Darling. And this one looks very similar as well also side by side do you see that this is cheers darling and then this is champagne pop so i'm going to swatch cheers darling right here next to champagne pop so this one is champagne pop remember and here's cheers darling very even even more similar in my opinion i actually just bought champagne pop i didn't have this but these are the two highlighters that I noticed have given me that same champagne pop effect. So you champagne pop lovers, you're welcome. I just hope that the Kylie one sticks around. But this one's such a great one too and I do love it. Okay, and then next I wanted to talk about my favorite cream blush. It's just very easy to work with. This is a Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Collection. This is the shade Nearly Apricot. This is also the blush that I'm wearing today. This is very nice because it's... 
almost like a very nice and cream, very easy to spread pigment right away, but it dries itself down almost to like a powdered finish, but not being dry. It's a weird, weird thing. So I will swatch this. This is my favorite one out of the shades. So see that with one swatch right there. So it's very creamy. It feels almost like it's going to be oily because it is such a cream base, but it sets itself in such a beautiful way that it's, it's amazing. So that's two layers right there. So I definitely want to bring that up because it's been one of my go-tos for that natural skin um, look that I've been wearing. And also, as you can tell, I'm wearing today. Okay, guys. So last but not least, we are, I'm sure, all tired of seeing the Fenty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. This is what I'm wearing on the face. So I did a whole review on my channel. I did build up this uh, skin tint to pretty solid medium coverage. I did see a comment saying like, wow, that's a lot of product. Yes, I did build it up because I want to see the versatility of the product. Um, I like to wear it like this. So very, very sheer. You can still see my imperfections underneath the skin. But what I love most about this product is that um, it's very nice to the point where you don't have to even do much to it. So I would even skip on setting my face with powder. I don't find me needing to set my under eyes. The only thing that I sometimes do, but I don't even do it unless I'm like going somewhere and I'm using this, is sometimes I try to set my uh, eyelids. I don't know if it's just me, <laughs> but I don't, I don't know if this is a thing, but I have sweaty eyelids like in the summer, especially when you sweat you will have some creasing going on in the eyelids. So I don't know if it's just me, but I do need to put a little dab of powder. Um, but that's about it. it. It's nice because it just dries down to almost like a skin, like your skin is just very nice and moistured, but not tacky tacky. If you're oily skin, it does go down to a satin finish. Maybe you want to dab a little bit of powder in that T-zone where you get most um, oily. So, it's a really nice skin tint. I did a review. I have talked about it on my Instagram. I love it. So I just thought I'd mention it. So that's been currently what I've been wearing every single day since I bought it, which says a lot. So that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and just seeing what I've been loving in the month of March. I hope you guys are all doing well and you guys are staying safe. Please let me know in the comments down below what have been your monthly favorites. Maybe you can let me know what you've liked that I, maybe I should try. I would really love to know what you guys are loving um, this month. So please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.